Dr. Fitzgerald's lecture will be published in next week's uh, issue of The Listener magazine, dated the 27th of May. And next week here on BBC One, uh, Sam Waterston stars as Robert Oppenheimer in the start of the award-winning series reflecting the life and the work of this celebrated scientist. That's at 9.25 next Thursday evening. Well, before our next programme tonight, we join Michael Burke for a news report. With formal diplomatic efforts to solve the Falklands crisis now apparently exhausted, the House of Commons has been holding an emergency debate, the sixth since Argentina invaded the islands last month. That debate ended a short while ago. Our parliamentary correspondent, Christopher Jones, watched from the gallery. And it ended with the first vote that there's been in the House of Commons throughout the whole of this crisis. And the result of that vote was that they voted for the government 296, they voted against the government 33. So the government had a vast majority of 263. All those 33 votes, of course, against the government came from Labour. They had been forced, to, the, vote, the vote had been forced by mostly by the Labour left, by Mr Tony Benn, by Dame Judith Hart, who is the chairman of the Labour Party. The official opposition abstained. They did so because they didn't want to widen the gap anymore between Labour and the government. Uh, the division within the Labour Party has already caused quite a lot of trouble. And Mr Michael Foote, the Labour leader, at a private meeting this evening, told Mr Benn and Dame Judith that a vote against the government tonight would be seen, as he said, as a stab in the back for those about to go into battle. And in the House itself, the former Labour Prime Minister, Mr Jim Callaghan, had told Mr Benn, although Mr Benn wasn't there to hear him say so, that a vote tonight would give the wrong impression to the country, the wrong impression to the world, the wrong impression to those islanders who were our first consideration. But in closing moments of this debate, the Foreign Secretary, Mr Pym, said the government's attitude at the moment was not in any way, did not in any way mean that we are not prepared to talk or will not follow with imagination, he said, any proposals from the Secretary General of the United Nations. So, from the House of Commons, back now to Michael Burke. There'll be more details of the debate in Newsnight on BBC Two at 11 o'clock. The late news headlines on BBC One are at around 11.25. Early Friday evening programmes on BBC One at 7 o'clock. Are you being served? And the staff of Grace Brothers face a job crisis. I think I ought to look for another job. What could you do? What do you mean, what could I do? I've got my brain, I've got my eyes, my senses, my hands, my feet. You could be a guide, though. <laughs> at 7.30, odd one out. It's such an honour to meet you. True. As close as this. True. This crawler could win. <laughs> At 8 o'clock, the Enigma Files, and the arrival of a shipment of gold bullion spells danger for Nick's daughter. Dad, it's me. It's Liz. Are you all right, love? Have they done anything to you? I'm all right. How about you? With the news at 9 o'clock, these are early evening programmes for Friday on BBC One. Now on BBC One, Ludovic Kennedy presides over another Question Time.